Club Express, Managing the Home Page. The Home Page Versions Manager allows an administrator to maintain and modify the organization's home page. This page is your site's front door, and it often provides the first impression visitors have when coming to your site. Like custom pages, the home page is made up of rows that can contain any combination of text, images, links to other pages, and content like upcoming events and news items. The formatting can be as simple or as elaborate as you need. You can build many different layouts for your home page and make any version active as needed. You can have content that is visible to everyone, or to members only, or to non-members only, or hidden from view. And you can have content whose visibility changes on a certain date and time. We're already logged into one of our demo sites as an administrator. When viewing the website tab of the control panel, we see a home page entry. To edit the home page, click on Home in the control panel, or when viewing the home page, click on the Edit Choice in the Page Tools widget that floats on the right side of the website or slides out from the right margin. Either brings you to the Home Page Versions Manager. So why do we have version management and why is it useful? A page might have one author, or it might have several people involved in the drafting, reviewing, and editing process. It might undergo several revisions, or have different versions with unique content that will be published over time. So it's very easy to get confused with tracking which version is the current one and therefore creating the possibility of working on the wrong version or using out-of-date information. Version control captures changes made to the files over time, in this case, your home page. So every change is captured as new versions are added. Every time you edit and save, a new version is created and any one of those versions can be made active for your home page. That is, it's published and made available for viewing on the desktop and mobile devices. Although your home page will be responsive when viewed on a mobile device, which means items will resize and reposition automatically, you can also create a home page that only displays on mobile devices, perhaps with less or different information than on your desktop home page. So although this is an optional and less used feature, you can have up to two active pages. One is the main home page and one is the main mobile home page. On this manager screen, we see all of the versions and we can use the search area to filter the items shown, limiting by title, dates, and status. Click the hide search icon to hide the search panel. There are a few buttons available and we'll return to them shortly. But first, let's edit our current active home page. We can either click on the Edit Main Version button, which opens the version marked as the main home page, or click the Edit icon for the row where the status is active and the page type is Main Home Page. This displays the page builder. Here you can build the page which consists of horizontal rows which you can edit, move, and for which you can manage the visibility. Please view the Club Express video titled Using the Page Builder for details and examples of how to use the tools to create and update your content. In this demo club, the home page has several rows that we will use to explore the various configurations. This way, when visiting the home page, the viewers are shown only those rows that are appropriate for them. Only the public, those people that are not logged in, are shown a large graphic with a Join Now button. When members are logged in, they see a similar row with a message for the members instead of the Join button. Everyone is able to see the news and upcoming events, and for a few months of the year, the information about the annual fly-in event is shown to everyone on the homepage, but for now it's hidden. And there's another row that's currently marked as hidden because the admins are deciding whether or not they want to show the row. We can preview the page in a new browser tab by clicking on the preview button. We can then simulate the type of device, which can be desktop, mobile phone, or tablet. And we can then simulate the different types of viewers by selecting public view to display content when not logged in as a member, member view to display content when a member has logged in, or the admin view to display all content regardless of current or future visibility. Now let's go back to the page builder. Each row has a dotted area to the left that allows you to drag the panel to a different position. You can also click on the row visibility icon to cycle between hidden, everyone, 
public only, and members only. Clicking on this area or on the row also displays the Row Tools panel on the Page Builder toolbar with additional row tools. Each row contains one or more widgets that display content. Let's take a quick look at the rows in this version. The first row has a widget that's called Text Over Background because the text includes a button that links to the signup page. We are going to display this row only to people who are not logged in. When this widget is highlighted, we can use the toolbars panels to edit the graphic and text. The next row is visible only to members who are logged in. It's similar to the row above, but displays a welcome message and has no join button. The next row is shown to everyone. It has three widgets. The first two have text below images, and a third that automatically loads upcoming events and will limit what is shown to the user depending on the visibility of the individual events. The next row is a promotion for the annual fly-in event, and it becomes visible to everyone as of a particular date and time a few months in advance of the event. This row gets updated every year as the event gets near and is hidden after the event until it's updated and used again for the next year. Before the event, we might want to move this row to the top position so it's the most prominent. As mentioned earlier, for detailed examples of adding content to the home page, please watch the video titled Using the Page Builder. For this demo, we won't save any changes and we'll simply cancel the edit. Now back at the version manager screen, let's look at some of the other buttons and icons. In the search results, for each version, we see the version title, which you can change, and an automatically assigned version number that does not change. The status is either active, which means it's published, version, which means it's unpublished, or deleted, which means that it has been marked and scheduled for deletion. The page type can be main home page. This is the published page that will display on all devices unless a main mobile home page version is defined. And in that case, the main home page will only display on desktop devices. Main mobile home page is an optional published page for mobile devices only. Home page is an unpublished version. And mobile home page is an unpublished mobile version. The edited by column displays who has edited this version. And you can see the date the version was created. And if the version is scheduled for deletion, the date that that version will be completely removed. The maintain column has several icons. The edit icon launches this version in the page builder. The preview icon opens this version in the page previewer as we saw earlier. Clicking on the Activate for Main icon makes this version active and visible. If no mobile version is marked active, this version will be visible for both desktop and mobile devices. If a main mobile home page is already defined, this version will only be shown on desktop devices. The Activate for Mobile icon makes this version active for mobile devices. The Deactivate for Mobile icon lets the version marked as main home page display on mobile devices. The Configure Version icon lets you change a version's title, and the Delete icon will mark the version as unavailable and schedule the actual deletions for 30 days from today. Note that items marked for deletion are moved to the bottom of the search results, which might be on another results page if there are many versions. If an item has been scheduled for deletion but has not been deleted yet, you can click the Undelete button to cancel the deletion request. There are three buttons at the top of the screen. The Edit Main Version button opens the active main home page version in the page builder. If there's an active main mobile home page, the next button says Edit Mobile Version and opens that version in the page builder. If no mobile page is active, the button displays Create Mobile Version and opens a new version in the page builder where you can create a page specifically for mobile devices. The Delete Old Versions button displays a pop-up with a date picker. Pick a Created Date to mark the versions for deletion. Versions created earlier than the date you select here will be marked for deletion, and they will not be physically deleted until 30 more days have passed. Note that active versions will not be deleted. 
So that's a quick look at the Club Express Homepage Versions Manager and the Page Builder. This lets you present content on your homepage that is specific to and useful for your members and the public. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.